My name is Carrie and I am with Yoga and Coffee and I'm here today to talk to you about props that you can use for restorative yoga. If you watched my previous video, you learned all about what restorative yoga is and why I think everybody should be doing it. But you do need a lot of props. So of course the first prop that you need is a yoga mat. So for restorative, uh, the yoga mat isn't quite as, uh, you're not gonna be moving around on it doing lots of acrobatic stuff, so it doesn't need to be as sticky as normal, but if you have a yoga mat, it's great to use. Just use something that supports you, that feels comfortable, that you can lie on and feel supported. The next piece of equipment that I recommend is blocks. Locks are very versatile. You can use them in restorative, you'll be able to use them in more active forms of yoga too, in vinyasa and hatha and ashtanga and all those. They are great for just helping to lift you up, for giving you support, and for helping you out when you maybe can't go all the way down. For restorative yoga, I recommend between two to eight blocks I would say most people need about four blocks. The next piece of equipment that I recommend for restorative yoga is the Mexican blanket. These blankets are great. You can fold them in all sorts of ways to provide all different sorts of needs for your body. You can lie them over you to help keep you warm while you're relaxing in the different postures. And they also are great for just making little micro adjustments, helping you sit up just a little bit more, providing just a little bit extra support. You can also put them over the block if you think that the block is uncomfortable to rest your head on or any part of your body on. You can always put a blanket on top to support you. And the next piece of equipment that I recommend is my favorite. It is the bolster. So this is kind of a small one. I use it a lot to put under my knees or whenever I need to make a smaller adjustment. This is a bigger one. You can see that this one is a rectangular shaped. There's also bolsters that are a little bit more circular. So you can choose which one you like best or you can buy one of each, whatever works for you. This is a Brentwood Home bolster. Brentwood Home makes mats and they are vegan. They are non-toxic. They're ethically sourced. So they are a really great option if you are interested in those. Bolsters are my favorite, uh, my favorite piece of equipment. And the reason why they're my favorite is because I just feel like whenever I use them, I'm just getting a hug. It's just, they're so comfortable and comforting and they, they kind of feel like I've been tucked into bed at night and I can just snuggle up and relax. So I love bolsters, highly recommend them if you can afford them. The next piece of equipment that I recommend is this yoga strap. So this is a yoga strap. It is another very versatile piece of equipment. You can use it for a lot of the more active forms of yoga, but you can also use it for restorative yoga. So for restorative yoga, I'd say you need between one and two of the yoga straps and they can kind of help pull you in and just help you reach things that maybe you can't reach on your own or just provide some extra support. So highly recommend the yoga strap. It's a great investment. I also recommend a meditation cushion. This is probably not as necessary as some of the other pieces of equipment, but it is something that you can use for sitting on or if you already have a meditation could meditation practice, it may be something worth investing in. It's, you know, not as necessary as the other piece of equipment, but it does provide you with just another tool to use. You can also use an eye cover 
like a lavender scented eye cover or whatever floats your boat and it can really just when you're doing shavasana at the end it can just really support you and make the experience extra special and the last piece of equipment that i recommend are weighted bags weighted bags can really help help you get down a little bit further than you normally would they provide a lot of compression which is just a very comforting feeling so it's probably the last piece of equipment i would invest in for a restorative practice but they are really nice and really do add a nice extra touch and so that's my complete list of restorative equipment that i recommend if you're really interested in restorative yoga and really want to give it a try but like i cannot afford all of that equipment check out my next video i'm going to show you ways to make your own equipment so see you next time if you enjoyed this video subscribe below and hit the like button hope to see you soon